that there ain't no other way Pack your bags and then you will go away I'm not gonna be begging you to stay me yesterday, I would handle this shit differently. Things are different, I'm a new me. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. That's not, that's not gonna happen. So, even if you're asking, even, even if you're asking, cause I do what I do, and it's time for something new. In this one, it's gonna be no different. Still keeping up with that hybrid training. I'm prioritizing rest and recovery when it comes to those off days, and I'm prioritizing my nutrition, but still giving myself some leeway to really enjoy, have fun um, during this entire process. I'm definitely getting way more conditioned with my running. On the track, my first mile, that was the fastest one I ran. I was on track to running 7.23. I ended up running like an 8.30 just because I believe I stopped to still like jog with my girl and my brother just for a bit because it was their first time really out there on the track. But being out there on the track really motivated me because there was people flying. I was like, yo, I cannot let these people just overlap me. That's like, it really just targets my ego. So I just could not allow it to happen. So it definitely just motivated me to lock in and try to up my own pace. And lo and behold, I ended up doing that. I just thought to myself the entire time, you know, it's only three or four times around this track, you know, really four times for the mile, for the first mile. And from there, really just cruise the rest of the way through. But regardless of that, it definitely helped me catch a way better pace. And I was not completely drained after my run. Still want to give y'all my little bit of, little dose of motivation. All right, something that's been carrying me through the week. Very few wins are achieved under ideal conditions. It is almost impossible for you to achieve what you want to achieve without extreme sacrifice, extreme hard work, extreme time consumption, extreme restriction. You're going to have to go to extreme some days to make sure it happens. I don't want the guy behind me to catch me. You know, I'm setting the pace for the race. And while the only competition should be yourself, I get people all the time that, oh yeah, man, I'm gonna be where you at. You know, that's cool, that's fine and dandy, but at the same time, by the time you get to where I'm currently at, I'll be far gone because there is no way in hell that I'm choosing complacency. If you are complacent, you justified being average. You somehow negotiated with your emotions to agree with doing something average. You justify doing the hard task. Justify doing the tough shit first. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Hopefully you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if you honestly don't like this video, make sure you dislike it twice. Five miles done. How much? How far did y'all? Did you go, Car? I got 3.89. 3.89. Yeah. Right, I mean, you pretty much did the same thing. Uh, solid. I kept thinking it was gonna rain the whole time, but I'm glad it didn't, cause that would have been tragic. It wouldn't have been able to record nothing. But it was pretty solid. It was pretty solid. I will say this is the, this is the best I felt. I would have had a way faster time. I would have had, had a way faster time if I didn't have to stop to go to the bathroom to put toilet paper between my toe, cause it was bleeding. If I didn't, what else happened? Shit. I didn't know what was going on with my foot at first, so, you know. Probably gonna get up out of here. Probably go and sit by you for it, just like a sec, because I'm soaking wet. I need to get out of these clothes. So I'll be headed home to shower up. And then what y'all will see next, y'all will see some of the rest of the week that we 
already have planned with a few other runs, some nutrition, and then hopefully we can get another gym session up there. How, how y'all feel after the workout? I feel pretty good. Yeah, I feel good. Good? I can enjoy another workout later We got to get M some running shoes. I already bought some. And me some better running shoes. Oh, you just bought some? What'd you buy? Oh, this. Oh, really? Yeah, I wanted them. Damn. Same ones as him? No. Nah, these are, these are Brooks, but... All right, guys. Yeah, we're done here. I think I'm about to tore something in my calf because man, shit's been hurting. I don't even know if I can really talk like that because my mics, I don't have any mics right now because my camera is not accepting okay. the microphone jack part broke. My service sucks. My game literally sucks. There was one that you guys heard about the outage. Yeah, the outage. It went, it went right out. It's actually pretty cool. Don't you leave me, baby. Don't you love it when you record so much? and then something didn't go as planned. Like for example, you left your camera settings way too high. I'm about to go for a run this afternoon. Right now, I'm currently going to go grab Emma coffee. Emma's my girlfriend, she works from home today and she asked if I can go grab her a coffee. So I said, you know, why not? You know, might as well, it's right down the street. Uh, so I'm gonna head over there, grab this. I'm on calls all morning, so I gotta be back within 20 minutes. I don't mind taking my calls from a distance, but I like to be in front of my computer when I'm talking to my clientele. I don't mind taking calls from a distance if I'm talking to somebody potentially who's looking to become a client for my online coaching. But when it comes to me talking um, to my actual clientele, I want to be in front of my computer so I can look at everything that they're doing and see how to currently improve it. So we finished up 56 minutes, 22 seconds, five miles. This today was solid. I had no issues as far as like stopping real quick. So we got it done today. Now it's time to go train. All right, so we just finished up that run, as you guys saw. I got a chance to record a little bit. Um, that was the best five miles I've run yet. Not really much stopping, um, straight to the point. Uh, paced myself very well. Like, I feel like I could go another mile, but to avoid from my body not being prepared for that, um, gonna still run five this week. We gonna bring it up to six or seven next week. All right, so we made it to the gym. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all see exactly how we pan out.
I feel real good. I don't feel tired, lethargic, for the drink some water. Let me get straight into it. No more talking, bro. It's time to work. All right, so before we end off this video, uh, I gotta run to Walmart real quick, so I need to pick up some sebum hydration. Raw Nutrition actually has some hydration packets, uh, some electrolyte packets that apparently are $20 for 20 packets. Uh, but with that being said, I appreciate y'all for tapping into this video. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you are new. We, we've got a lot of new members here, so I appreciate all you guys that have tapped into this video and watched the whole thing to its entirety. Y'all don't know how much I appreciate that. I've been on YouTube for three years. All right, three plus years. I've been on YouTube since 2020, posted on this channel for, since 2020. I've been trying to post on YouTube since 2018, 2017, and nothing really clicked for me until this past year. I started to just showcase my lifestyle vlogs and, you know, not just my workouts alone, just my workouts, my routines, the entirety. And then taking my editing to another level, I, I bit that, man, I, I bit that bullet and just said, F it, we gone. We gonna get DaVinci Resolve Studio, and all of that stuff is starting to pay off. All of that, those are all decisions that I had to make when it wasn't exactly the best financial decision to make at the time. When I bought DaVinci Resolve Studio, I had put it on one of my separate credit cards because I was, I had just put down a down payment or the first month for my apartment that I'm currently staying in now, and then I also had, um, in the old place that I lived at, the AC went out twice, so I had to pay for that. And so it was like a lot of funds that I said, man, this has to work out. This has to start to work out. And that last video plus the videos prior to that, I know that in some people's eyes, 1.9 views and, you know, any, anytime I see over 1K views with this style that I have, I'm proud of it because I know that the work will pay off. But 13, 14K views, that's absurd, man. I, I didn't think that it would be getting to that point this soon, but I've been preparing for this for so long. So I appreciate everybody that came from that video and supported. I appreciate everybody who's been here since before then. Man, I know a lot of y'all have been here since 2021. And if you have, let me know in the comments because I really appreciate that. And then just to finish off this video, we had a you know a fitness influencer pass away in the community last week, March 10th, at uh, like about 9.45, 10 o'clock at night. And the story is a little bit tragic. It's very sad. Um, and the situation, of course, um, was very preventable. So I just want to say you know rest in peace to Bax I knew Bax personally chatted with him he was definitely a, a good dude like however you see him on the cameras how he was when you talk to him in person he was just as genuine matter of fact I feel like he was more genuine in person than he was actually on camera um but Baxter fit as a lot of you guys may know Thieven also passed away I don't know Thieven personally but uh I just want to give uh, my condolences to him and his family and just 
you know, just have a moment of silence for that. Just to pay those respects. And this goes into the next thing that I wanted to talk about real quick before I end off. Man, every time that you get into a vehicle, every time you leave your house, you got to start leaving with the notion that there is somebody out there who thinks you're somebody. Whether it be family, friends, supporters, other loved ones, there's somebody out there who thinks you're somebody. Personally, that's how I go about things. I go about things thinking my mother is in another state. She is 17 and a half hours away in the state of Florida while I'm in Texas. I live by the notion that if I got into a situation, it would affect her on an emotional level, the people who care about me, family, friends, specifically people like my mother, my girl, my brothers and sisters, my friends, they would be the ones who were truly burdened by my loss. So I carry myself as though I'm not just living through my own lens, I'm living through somebody else's, I'm living for somebody else, for other people. With all that being said, you never know when it's your time, but I do everything in my power to make sure I prevent my time coming too soon because I know I have those here that truly care about me. And hopefully you guys, you know, don't think about doing anything too crazy or reckless. Just, you know, realize that there are people out there. There is somebody out there who thinks you're somebody. Rest in peace, the bags, once again.